Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 67 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Intercal Bajero. Special episode this one because we are swapping from defending to playmaking, so let's just set that in and lock it in for the training changes. Mod to playmaking feels very nice. Before we move on, let's take a look at the training planner and see what we are going to do going forward. So 15 weeks of playmaking right now before we have to finish up defending with nine weeks afterwards. When we have done those 15 weeks of playmaking, we should have Zanotti at double magnificent, Francioni at magnificent brilliant and Camalini at brilliant brilliant. Going back to the training page here, Kiva from Formidable to Outstanding, Al Jamasi from Excellent to Formidable, and Nameti from Solid to Excellent. That's all very good. Let's take a look at the sheet to see what of the profit players are staying in the club and which ones are going to leave in the near future. It goes without saying that the top three players are staying in the club. It's my idea to see if we can keep Lemity and Plevoski in the club in order to save money and keep them away from the board reserves. But uh, at some point we'll have to sell Kotatko, Dwayne Doth and Jaco Kiva who's been part of a big deal. We do have a few more players we are actually training already and uh, I'll introduce you to those guys right now. The transfer compares are hurting a bit on Kotatko and Dwayne Dodd since they just had their birthday but I'm thinking perhaps to train them one level in playmaking and then moving them on in order to see if we can regain a bit of value in the near future. We did pick up two inner midfielders Yusuf Kosa and Papu Fraga so we'll try to see if we can make these guys pop fairly soon and move them on in order to make a quick profit here. We also sold Nikola Menki for just over over 100,000 euros. A decent sale and it was a nice addition to the club coffers. Um, let's just take a look at the finances right now while we are swapping. So right now we have 7.4 million euros in total and we have just 1 million euros in the board reserve. So they should be easily recovered should we go below the available cash of 15 million euros. And it'll probably happen quite soon since we will have to find wingers within half a season. And those will be the half-baked, mythical, quick or unpredictable wingers. I am thinking what to do with the specs and I'm probably going to go double unpredictable simply because I do have an idea that going for quick players requires a wider squad and we probably don't have the money for that. It's time for this week's scout call and uh, we need anything extra we can get. So let's see what Bellini has for us today. 16 years old, Marcello Fabri. No, thank you. Desaliti, 16 years old. Nah. Primo Roman, 16 years old. Again, just like last week, we'll pull this guy and we'll fire him to remove him from the pool so that no one else has to deal with this player in the future. Sunday evening we played against AC Trebicetti and they did a pretty good job at trying to stop us in this match but we ended up winning one goal to nothing in this one. It was Al Jamasi coming up with the winner in the 78th minute. If we look at the initial ratings you'll see how they did a pretty good job trying to stop us and we only had 13% chances of scoring as the match started out. We did have an advantage stamina wise and by the 78th minute when we actually scored we had a 21% chance of scoring. So a little lucky for us that we actually came through. A good job by the guests on this evening in order to try to save a point. They were pressing with formidable ability in this match. In the league we are still looking good in third. Having that secured last week we'll be going into the final match of the season against the unknowns trying to get the best possible results really in order to try to gain more fans during the season break. This is quite important because you have no chances of altering fan mood during the break since you don't play any official matches. We did add another trainee here, Benny Schläger, and we did already play him for 45 minutes in the league match since he was added just before the start of the game. So the new training regime is starting to take form. We will be moving on players and it'll be quite interesting to see what we can do when we also have to look at wingers at the beginning of next season. That's all for this week's episode. I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more of the journey with Inza Kelber here in San Marino, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great week in Hattrick and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.